Hello, hello everybody. My name is Kyle and welcome to another Twitter Spot video. Today we're going to be working on the North American Wood Turtle Enclosure. We are going to be building a water dish for them. And that water dish is hopefully going to have a little stream that goes into it. I don't have everything yet, so we're going to have to do one step at a time. Uh, as you already know, we uh, built the little box already. This uh, divider right here just keeps the turtles out of the area because there will be a little construction zone here but eventually I will uh, move this little barrier back and uh, yeah hopefully I'll have a stream that goes down here into a water dish we'll have it all planted out and uh, yeah hopefully that's what this video is about it might be broken up into parts I'm not sure yet because I've never uh, built any uh, stream before and never built anything like this so it's all going to be a new experience for me and I'm bringing you guys along so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, first step in this uh, video is going to be making the water dish for the North American wood turtles and uh, you'll kind of see what I have planned pretty much it's going to be a false bottom type water dish so I can hide the pump underneath everything. I've done one for a terrarium, but I never have done one for outdoors or for like a turtle. So it should be interesting if it works. It works, if it doesn't, we just gotta learn, I guess, and uh, figure out another way. But let's go ahead and mess around and try to get this water dish put together and at least get the false bottom put together today. And then we can go from there. Thanks guys for joining me. If you like these type of videos please stop in and don't forget to like subscribe and i'm trying to uh, drop videos at least once a week sometimes i'll do a quick video in between the main videos but i'm just trying to keep you guys updated trying to share you got share with you guys what i do how the animals are doing and just a little bit more content so anyway let's go start on this uh water dish here we go guys Alright guys, we are back. Pretty much we're in my corner of the garage. Which, uh... Just keeps all my tools and stuff close by. But here's the project. Um, we have this mixing tub that I'm going to use as the actual dish. You see the little standoffs down there? The PVC standoffs? We're going to use that. And then the false bottom is the actual egg crate here. Which is just lighting material, believe it or not. They put in the light, it's a light deflector, I believe. But that will uh, keep the water or the substrate a little bit elevated. That way, the pump can uh, be in the water underneath. If that all makes sense. You guys know what a a crate false bottom is, and then you kind of have the idea. They use them a lot in the terrariums and different uh, reptile hobbies depending on what kind of setup you want to set up. But we're going to try to test it out and see if we can make a little uh, water dish for the North American wood turtles. The pump will be ran off solar power, just like my uh, mountain tortoise enclosure pond dish. And uh, yeah, hopefully it works out. Hopefully they like it. If not, we'll go back to the drawing boards, but let's get it set up. So the next step here we're going to do is measure this out so it fits flat down in the bottom. And uh, I got the measurements ready, 23 and a half by 16 and a half. And then we're just going to cut it. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Let me just do my tape measure. Sure how long this thing is anyway. So 23 and a half. Oh, it's really 23 and a half. Perfect. That should be it actually. So it's already 23 and a half wide, which is perfect. So now it's oh shit. Worse. 
tape measure I've ever used. Sixteen and a half, which would be roughly. So you can see where I can't. Oh, you can't see it. Can't really see it, but oh yeah, broke it right there. Now I'm just gonna cut all the way across here. So let's go ahead and get that done here. All right, we're just gonna cut this real quick. I'm just using uh, wire cutters. Cuts right through here. Halfway. So just cut that up there. Let's see how close we got. Well, not bad. I trim it off. See, I wanted to keep it long, so in case I need, I didn't want to be too small. So, probably trim, probably one more row off here. So, I'm gonna trim that off real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, as you can see, now it sits right in there, and it stands on top of these uh, little, uh, which I'm gonna call it, PVC pipe uh, thingy there standoffs like all I guess but anyway uh, so this will be the bottom the depths about four inches here and then we're gonna build little ramps that go in that way the turtles can get out without having struggles and then uh, we're gonna have to wrap everything inside uh, netting that way the pebbles don't fall through and yeah it's pretty much done and then I'll eventually drill a hole through the side that way the pump can have the tube that goes out and that will go up towards the filter but if you guys get the idea you kind of get what I'm doing if not keep watching and you'll uh, kind of see and kind of get it the next step though here is I'm gonna move this to the side I'm gonna take these little guys and I'm gonna take that little grinder we're gonna cut little notches out that way when they're glued down I'm gonna glue them down when they're glued down, the water in the middle doesn't get stagnant. It can actually have water flow. You just don't want, uh, well, I don't want water to get stuck in the middle and just get all nasty. So we're going to notch out a few notches in each one just to kind of give it a uh, little bit more flow inside the pillars. So I'm going to go to the front of the garage here where I have a, a vise, and then we're going to cut those out. So let's do it. All right, guys, welcome back. We are in the garage. Sorry about the mess. It's not my garage, so I don't have any control over it. Anyway, you see the vise here. You see the PVC pipes that we're gonna use. Pretty much, I'm gonna cut little uh, notches here so the water can go through. And we're just gonna simply vise it in. And we got this little, uh, Contraption here with a circ. Uh, what is this thing? Uh, like a grinder, I guess. not pretty but you can see how it goes through and then the water can't get stagnant inside there and it can push and pull water through there and we're just gonna do a bunch like that we have seven of these so I'm not gonna bore you with this process but we're just gonna clamp another one in 
go ahead and do another one real quick. Another simple, uh, pretty simple notch there. You can see how it goes through. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I'm going to do that to all of them. I'm not going to bore you with the video. So I'm going to cut to when they're all done. And then we're going to glue them into the bottom of the mixing tub. And then, yeah, and then we'll see how everything's fitting together. So we'll, uh, we'll cut from there. Whoop. All right, guys, I'm back here and uh, pretty much just cut the standoffs, cut all those little gaps in so the water can flow through. Don't get any nasty water trappage. We're going to take this uh, gun here with the silicon, aquarium safe silicon, glue them all down, and they're going to act as a support between the false bottom and the real bottom. And yeah, that'll be the next step. After that, we're going to make little ramps going from each side. And in the middle will be the deepest, and I'll kind of taper off on each side. That way, the turtles can easily get in and out. We're going to have to drill a hole for the pump and do all that. But for now, let's finish this water dish. All right, guys, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue all this together here. All right, guys, I got them all glued in, and I just put this firewood on top to add a little pressure on them. And I'm going to let them cure for about a half hour, and then I'm going to start working on the little ramps on the sides. Then we're going to wrap it up with uh, a little bit of screen, and should be pretty much done. I'm not going to add any gravel or anything just yet. Just because I uh, definitely want to see how, uh, how I'm going to put it into the ground and all that. But pretty much want to get this main part done. And it's pretty much there. So I'm going to let this dry for about a half hour. And we're going to cut back. And hopefully the ramps go just as easy. So let's do it. Alright guys we are back. As you can see it's dried a little bit. And they're kind of stuck down there now. So this will go right on top of there. We'll hide a pump underneath all that. Um, fits pretty good. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rest of this. We're gonna try to make little ramps here. I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm definitely gonna measure a few things right now. So give me a second here to try to figure this part out. I think it shouldn't be too hard. But pretty much need to get a little bit of a slant going. Now we want to put the gravel in and stuff. I can get a nice little uh, bowl shape. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. So uh, we are just keep. We're just gonna cut this out still. I put a little slope on inside in there, as you can see. Sorry, I didn't film really all the cutting. Pretty much, we're just clipping these. These other sides, I'm putting um, six by seven. Pretty much, we just measure it out six and seven. So each one of these squares is a half inch. So makes life easy. We gotta make sure we find a seven inch here. I did mark it. Where did it go? Six by one, two, three, four, five, six. So, there you go. Okay. Well, I did have it marked. I don't know where it went. Six, six, yep, so we're just cutting. Cutting. Stuff is easy to cut. Look for that broken one right there. 
Good turn. 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 One more. Pretty much, we're just gonna put a little ramp this way. Probably just go like this or something. I'm not sure yet. Do one more grid here. And then we gotta wrap it all up in uh in the screen. And then we'll pretty much be done with it. Still gotta put a hole in the side for the pump. And then of course all the supports, which I'll just make real quick, probably out of PVC or something. And then we'll pretty much be done. Pretty simple. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll dig into the ground, get everything set up, and then we'll start everything else. Thanks for making it this far so far. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but it should be pretty fun. I'm going to finish this up. Alright guys, I got pretty much all the panels how I want them. The next step is going to be to use this screen here. And we're just going to wrap them. So what I like to do is just uh, leave a little overhang. We're going to fold it over. Cut a few holes here. Zip tie it all on. And uh, we're going to do that with all the panels. That way the gravel doesn't fall through it. And then... The Pretty much we're done. Go ahead and cut all this and get it nice and uh, wrapped up and we'll show you the finished product after we get it all uh, netted up here. All right we'll be right back. All right guys I ended up finishing it took a lot longer than I thought but as you can see there is a screen on the whole thing now. So when I go to put substrate onto it, it will uh, not be too bad. And I made it so there's ramps going that way and then these two platforms go up and out. So the deepest area will be just right in the center, which will be good for them because they're not the biggest turtles in the world. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a fighting chance. But yeah, um, took a lot longer than I thought. So tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up. And we're going to go ahead and get started on putting it into the ground. And we'll figure out how everything else will uh, fit together. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I guess, day one, part one of uh, this new build. Thanks, guys, for joining me so far. Again, if you uh, like this kind of content, like, subscribe. i got a few more projects after this one to finish up. I will, uh, once spring hits, we will be introducing the turtles and tortoises and doing some feedings. And uh, once COVID's over, maybe we'll uh, start visiting places so uh, you can see how other people do it, not just me. So uh, thanks again for stopping in, guys. This is uh, either part one. I'm not sure if I'm breaking in the parts, but just in case, this is the end of part one. If it's going to be all one video, stay tuned.